I, I love being a farmer and if I had to do it all over again, uh, being a farmer would, would be a no-brainer and I'd probably try to do everything just about as close as, as I did it the, the first time around because I've met a wonderful bunch of people and have had experiences and, and uh, you know, not all of them were, were the greatest but I tried to learn from, from everything and, and I would definitely be a farmer again. My name's Mark Rogers. I'm from West Glover, Vermont, and I grew up on a farm. Took some time off while I was in college and moved to the West Coast. Uh, this last, I've been where I am right now 20 years. Uh, my wife and I have four children. Our oldest is 23. She's actually married to a dairyman and lives uh, 20 minutes away from us. My son is 22 and graduating from the University of Vermont this spring. Uh, with no intentions of coming back to the farm. Uh, we have a daughter who's 18 and uh, in college and our youngest is in eighth grade. I breed naturally polled Holsteins. They're born with no horns and so we do that. I also sell silage inoculants and probiotics for cattle and I also have a custom cropping business where we uh, we mowed 11,000 acres for people last year and, and made thousands of bales of hay and, and uh, so yeah we do do some extra stuff and I, I also our farm produces very high quality milk so not only does our milk go to Agrimark and to Cabot for their products but we're also a supplier of milk to Jasper Hill. I've got 78 members of Agrimark members in my region and uh, and then there's also there are other ones and I'm I live right on the edge of the region my region has changed places a couple times but uh, uh, Vermont is a has got a wealth of co-op members and and the co-op culture is something that's pretty pretty strongly ingrained even some of the other co-ops that are that are in the state and the, the association and uh, cooperation that exists between them comes about because of, a sim of the co-op culture, I guess you might want to refer to it. Being a cooperative member is really important to me. My father was on the, the co-op board back in the 1970s. I went to my first co-op annual meeting when I was 13. Uh, so the, the concept has always been there with me and, and I like the idea of the farmer owners making the decisions and really bearing the brunt of the decisions whether it's it's you know or the benefit of the decisions so that you know you've really got that ownership it's not just theoretical it's not just a feel-good statement it's it's real and that's that's the part that I really like I came on the board effective January 1st and one of the first things they did with us was bring us to tour all of the plants and facilities and I've produced high quality milk every year for a lot of years and, and we win awards for, for the cheese and having a degree in dairy food technology again I know how important it is to take a top product you have to have a top process to get a top product out at the end but the gist of uh, my tour was is the quality people that are doing the job for us and the passion that they had for the job, I was, I was flabbergasted. Uh, uh, my appreciation for the people that work for us, with us, uh, tripled anyways. Uh, my, as my understanding of what the processes are and all of the people and their jobs and their particular aspects from the accounting end of it, marketing end of it, you know, the, uh, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, and, and actually when I got done my tour, I told Jim Pratt that uh, my appreciation for the people that helped run this place for us was beyond words. And, and I tried to express that to every one of the people that, that uh, showed us around the plants and the cut and wrap facility and, and the distribution center that uh, you know, what they do is remarkable. And, and I appreciate it a great deal.